Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome. Now, I've been seeing this video going around YouTube a lot, and I'm just like, this is actually a cool idea, let me jump on this bandwagon and do it as well. So I'm going to share with you guys 10 things I wish I knew before starting a YouTube channel. So if you're if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel, or you have one and you're growing, you can take these into consideration, so you can avoid doing that. <laughs> so if you're interested, make sure you guys stay tuned, and let's get started. So the first tip is basically just being truly authentic in what you like and being truly authentic in what you like and showcasing videos on things that you genuinely love now i like a lot of things but i love all things jamaican so i used to do mainly like a lot of just like beauty just like random videos it's because like i saw people that i was inspired by in like the beauty community in the lifestyle community oh in the diy community as well you know i was like oh my god i love their content let me do it too and I was trying to like in some way mimic but I was trying to mimic what they were doing how they were doing what they were saying and stuff and like I just feel like I wasn't growing and I wasn't really truly being my authentic self because I just thought that's how I was going to grow because they got so many subscribers and views from being like being that way maybe I should be that way and I'll get subscribers and views and literally that's not how it works but when I started showcasing my Jamaican content that's what really made my content grow girl and it just took off on my channel and I actually was happy because I'm like okay my channel is growing based on something I genuinely genuinely like and I would take time editing and doing on my channel so you will grow once you're authentic man it takes a while for you to be authentic on YouTube it generally does some people can just come on here and be real 100% they do not care but for a lot of us it's really hard to be so the more you do YouTube and the more the more comfortable you become that's when you start generally showing what you like and what you do and how your personality actually is so it takes time but I wish I knew that before starting my YouTube channel and also here's a little tip just like a growth tip whatever niche you like whether it's gaming what it whether it's lifestyle whether it's DIY whether it's shoe collecting whether it's all about animals look at your niche and see what's not being done in that niche and you're going to grow rapidly because that's how I grew in like the Jamaican based community is I was doing videos that people weren't doing because everyone was just doing vlogs and even then some people weren't even doing vlogs and I was doing like lifestyle content in the Jamaican community and doing a lot of helpful tips for newcomers and travelers to Jamaica and I was showing my daily life in Jamaica a little bit more than just my face like I was showing like the surrounding the scenery because most of like the previous Jamaican most of the Jamaican youtubers that were doing life vlogging they only showed their face in their vlogs when they're out on the road when they were doing stuff it wasn't more of their scenery so it was really cool so once I started doing videos that was missing in my niche I grew up I grew people started seeing me a little bit more so I love that okay so the next thing I wish I knew is that you're going to be showing your face a lot in your videos like there's actually some some channels where you don't even see the person's face but I noticed that the content that I liked and I wanted to create I would have to show my face a lot and your appearance matters so that means you're going to have to be waking up every single day doing your makeup if you want to doing your hair if you want to and you're going to have to be on camera now I watch a, a channel I don't even know what the girl's name is I don't think it's in English but she's a stay-at-home 20 year old housewife and she lives somewhere in Asia maybe China I don't know but you literally only see like from her neck down you don't see her face or anything like that but it's really cool but for what I wanted I knew I wanted to show my face but girl if you told me that it was this much work waking up every single day putting on makeup doing my hair which takes like two three hours just to prep for videos I would have been like, do I really want to do YouTube? But I love it. I love doing it. So it, it's worth it. Even though it takes a long time for prep, it's worth it. In my earlier videos, actually, I never used to show my face, especially in a lot of my vlogs, because I was like, oh, it looks so ugly today. Or I don't want to put on makeup. I don't want to do my hair. So I used to not show my face in a lot of my vlogs. I used to show like everyone else, like the things, the scenery. But then I, as I was growing a little bit more, I was like, yeah, no. Yeah, no. I need to start showing my face and showing me being able to connect and with the community that's watching me, which I'm thankful for. If people watch my videos, even like and comment and subscribe to me, I'm so grateful. Like there's so many other people, people could subscribe and watch, but they chose to do that with me as well. Okay, so the next thing that I wish I knew is that your time will come. Actually, I kind of knew this in like all things in life, but when it comes to YouTube, your time will come, man. I'm telling you, don't be watch. There's some people that will start literally two or three months after you or even a year after you and they grow past you and get so big and you're just like what what how and what am i doing wrong literally i i've seen this endless amount of times and i'm just like you know what take let me take my time everyone's success comes differently everyone's road to success is different maybe i need to learn some more things maybe i'm 
my path is different and my time will come i will soon hit this goal and then these same people some of them who grow so fast and pass you they stop making content or they post like once every six months so consistency is what wins guys consistency yeah so everyone's success is different in your time maybe it might take you through three years to grow four years to grow just look at it like this in the music business we all know those artists that come out of nowhere they're so big for like a few years and then they're gone and then there's artists that's been consistent and they just stayed trending and relevant throughout all these years and decades right so you guys want to think like that just take your time your success will come and people who've been underground for so long in the music industry they finally pop off and they get big and everything like that so so the next thing is that growing on YouTube is a little bit more different for black creators and this is something that you hear a lot and you see a lot like more opportunities will be given to other non-black creators and just your growth will be a little bit different so you want to take that into consideration but I don't let that stop me I love love creating content and just interacting with everyone in my comment section I'm gonna try even though I know that is a contributing factor oh my god this is another thing <laughs> And I was like, I wish I knew this. So we grow or we just watch people or we've been watching people on YouTube that automatically, as soon as they hit a certain subscriber count, a certain subscriber count, it's like nobody can talk to them. A totally different person, nobody can chat to them. And it's just like, I'm a celebrity now. Like I've seen people once they hit 50K, they're just like, oh, celebrity, I, mean, I moved into a big huge house, I bought all these nice luxe cars, like so IG and YouTube famous, like wow, 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 wow. But no i don't know what's different with these people but literally i watch endless amount of youtubers and once they hit certain subscriber counts they're literally the same as before and i don't know what's the difference and the same with some people who hit 100,000. like once they hit 100,000, it's like oh my god they're a celebrity now and they're making all this money and they bought all this and that but it's not true so take that into consideration it's not the same for everybody and the next thing is a huge portion of your income is going to be coming from brand deals even though a lot of people make like consistently and steadily a lot from adsense but a huge portion is from brand deals because you can control how much you want to get charged on videos and how much you would want brands to pay you and a lot of them be cashing out money so that's something that you guys want to consider i used to think that's just mainly adsense 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 but no it's like a lot of different alternative um, income sources that are that's gaining so much money so the next thing is that creating videos improve you as a person in general so basically it's gonna improve you in like your your speech your appearance just like your time management skill your business management skills on like being an entrepreneur everything like that so once I started doing this I was like girl I'm improving in every single aspect in your creative skills and just everything so I was just like, oh, I like this, I like this. So that's something to consider. And you're going to improve a lot, a lot. Of, there's going to be a huge rise in personal development and everything like that. And opportunities as well. There's going to be endless opportunities that come your way and stuff like that. So it's really cool. And I liked it. And I wish I knew this before. It's a, it's a bonus. It's a very, very good positive bonus. So next thing is don't let other creatives discourage you from doing this stuff. Because there's going to be, I want bigger YouTubers that are always like, oh, the it's oversaturated it's oversaturated and they try to discourage other people who are trying to come into it and don't listen to them it's either they just they're just a negative person or they just don't want more competition because all the time when, I, when people ask like should i start should i start i'm like just start and do it because it's worth it if you can handle it just do it follow your instinct follow your gut don't listen to other people so the next thing is music copyright i wish i knew that you would get copyright from using certain music this is why i really use music in my videos now or if i do it's very minimal and quick because a lot of my old videos i got copyrighted so i'm not really getting anything from it but i learned i don't really care about those videos anymore because they're just old but it's something that i wish i knew and sometimes if you use a song you may not get copyright now but maybe a year or two a year or two later you're getting copyright and sometimes it's going to be random people trying to copyright the song playing the songs in your video you're just like what you're not even the owner for this song how are you trying to take my money and the next thing is that this whole entire thing is all about trial and error some things are going to work some things aren't going to work and that's just how it is don't take it personal just just learn from what doesn't work and then try to improve and then you're going to grow in that way but that's it for today's video if you did find it useful give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel because i do a lot more videos similar to this and comment down below what you think did you find this useful did you find it entertaining did you like this and i'll see you guys in my next video au revoir